Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. That is not how you introduce yourself. <laughs> that is so improper. Let me show you how you should introduce yourself. Today, we are playing Lumber Tycoon 2 and doing base tours with Code Primate. Ooh, that's how you do an intro. I like that. I like that a lot. Woo! This right. random guy named Bro123. I forget his name. Push, <laughs> push, push, push. Myself, push. of course. Oh no, I fell too. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'll be right back up. <laughs> did all did all that catch on the mic? Uh, a little bit. Uh, it was it was a little. Um, you hit red. You definitely hit red. You're you're maxing it out there for a second. So, anywho, what are we doing today? All right. So, I have many bases I've worked on over the years. Okay. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. put work and dedication into the bases i'd like to show you these nice bases all right let's do it now i know off camera you did say that i don't build a lot when it comes to oakland's when it comes to a lot of lumber tycoon 2 yes. but sometimes i do get motivation to build when i do get motivation to build usually it's well i don't know if uh, people consider it good but i at least consider it good because i like the way it looks anyways we will start with the first base, okay? This is the... Actually, you know what? Let's start with the YouTube base. That's the... We'll start from first to last. Actually, technically... Technically, no. The first one is the... Actually, I'm not going to spoil it, but just watch, okay? Absolutely. This will take a while to load. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. Okay. And you're, you're going to teleport over there, so I'm, I'm going to start my direction yes. over there. Whee! Look in the direction of the bridge, okay? I'm seeing it. It's not gonna smash me, is it? No! It's like two seconds from Smash Me. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Red Wolf's here now. Look at him go. Hey, buddy. How are you? All right. So, door bridge. Love it. And I, I here's the other that, thing. That's not, my, that's not my base. That's Red this Wolves. Is, this is not the base? <laughs> Who is this? That's this Red then? Wolves. That's Red <laughs> Wolf's base. I'm sitting here like, this is amazing, awesome. Okay, dang it, I'm not even in the right spot. Uh, it's, it's, it's this guy, <laughs> give this guy the credit, he's over here. Absolutely, hold on. Right, okay. I think it's Red Wolves. My no, it's Red device. Wolves, it's Bruz base. I'm getting it wrong too. Who, who, okay, hold on, let's just go see. Do they, there we go. Oh, sure, don't let me on, that's fine. Why is your toilet here? One can't get on. <laughs> he doesn't want visitors. All right, look over to the direction of the bridge, okay? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Here comes the lag. Here comes the lag. Watch out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. There will be more layers added, but I just haven't added. Maybe it'll be in 2025. I'll put more layers. <laughs> I haven't worked. I started working on this base. Uh, I'll, I'll tell the story about it. So originally, I when, when I created this account, this Roblox account for Lumber Tycoon Two, yeah. I had an idea of making a base like this. This is for building on live stream or building off live stream, not necessarily for YouTube video. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. There's a hole in there. Oh my goodness, I forgot that hole was there. Don't look over there. I'll, I'll gotta patch it up. But um. <clears throat> This base, yeah, it originally started on another uh, slot, and then in November of 2021, one morning, I wanted to go stock up on the spicy turkeys, but the spicy turkeys went off the shelves. The spicy turkeys were only on the shelves for, I believe it was about 36 hours. I did not believe it so much to the point of where I actually was in my private server and I shut down the private server whilst the base was loaded in. Therefore, I lost a bunch of items. I regained those items back in January of 2022, but I lost the five and a half truckloads of spicy turkeys I gained. I also realized that that old base, which is actually gone for real now, I got all the stock of seasons items off there. It's gone for real now, but it has a lot of um, just like uneven placements when I placed the walls, I realized. So I started this base just for the Christmas items to stock up on here. This is back then when I didn't realize the data size limit was the data size. We, but we then say. eventually I got all those stock of seasons off in 
uh, late 2022. All right. Gotcha. Or not late 2022. Late 2021. Or no, uh, 2022. I, I'm, I'm confusing. I'm confusing. Um, I'm here. But oh, oh, now God, this I'm... is a base where I built four of these giant layers. Come on in. Okay. Come, I'm, Come on in come, and tour. Come, come. Oh, wait. Do you not have visit permissions? You don't? Oh, wow. I got to give them to you. Okay. <laughs> it's terrible of me. Okay. I was right at the door. <laughs> you teleported. It teleported me all the way out. It's like, no. All right. Get out. <laughs> I'll get you. I'm on the way. Making my way. Making my way downtown. Moving fast. I'm homebound. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there we go. So each layer is supposed to have something in it. This is supposed to have something in it. I, I'm probably gonna let. I don't actually remember what I'm gonna put in here, but I'll put something in here. But for now, this is just a big empty room. I, I have a bunch it. of book presents here already. I'm gonna build like some type of like school and like a library in the school. So I'm gonna put a bunch of books on the bookshelf. So this is like far projections. It'll probably take like all of 2025 and 2026. All the motivation I get from those years, but it'll nice. it'll be done from years to come. This is just like just preparations, okay? for um this uh rate we have a rainbow light design in here it's very interesting all right i think it's very cool hop in there is a second layer that is not 100 percent complete okay okay but but it is oh look here oh there are two of my signatures i forgot to put the 3k sub signature here though but a thing i have is i what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all existing signatures on all my bases i just didn't get to put the 3k on this base yet but anyways we got uh the the midsection there we just passed it so this one is it was going to be the youtuber level but i think i might just 100 percent dedicate it to technoblade i'm not entirely sure so i have four favorite youtubers okay well actually one of them fell off of the list so now there's only three there's only three all-time favorite youtubers okay can I, there's three top ones can i ask you for all right off? huh can i ask you for uh, off? i i i would prefer not to mention <laughs> him because he had quite inappropriate oh, content never mind, never mind like all right but uh technoblade there is cursing in some of his streams from the other people but he was mostly family friendly i'll mention him. his things here anyway um he passed away i don't know if you heard but he, he passed away in july of 2000 no june of 2022 it was almost july of 2022 it was the last day interesting fact he was born the first day of june and then he passed away on the last day of june he passed away at the age of 23 he was a minecraft youtuber he's very popular i looked up to him part of the way i act and part of my content style is from how he acts like the screaming i did earlier this video if, if it reminded anybody of technoblade that's pretty much where I got part of my personality from. I looked up to him a lot. He's this really chill, funny, amazing guy. When he passed away, I heard the news on stream and it just struck me for a few days. Mm -hmm. And I made a whole memorial about him. But I uh, did something for him in Minecraft, but we'll talk about the Lumber Tech 2 thing. Last year for the one year, for uh, uh, since it's been one year since he passed, well, last year it had passed that, I did the best I could to make a Technoblade statue. There are very limited options for what Lumber Tekken 2 gives you, okay? Uh, one good thing about Oakland's, I'll say, is that it has a lot of material, so you don't have to worry about that in Oakland's. But oh, yeah. um, for, for Lumber Tycoon 2, this is all I could do. And I had to have the eyes hollow because I couldn't really do anything. The best thing I could do is make the eyes hollow because, like I said, limited. I, I had to put the wires. But that's the best I could do. That's the best I could do, but I think it's, it's good, well enough dude. made for Lumber Tycoon 2. It's 100% right. beautiful. I love it. No, this thank you is, very much. This is amazing. All right, it is awesome. Thank you, thank you. Rest in I peace. I appreciate that. Yes, rest in peace to him. Now, have you actually heard of him? That's what I'm wondering. Absolutely, and uh, it was huge because um, when he did pass, my daughter and my son—they're huge fans. My really? uh, my son—he has a processing disorder, so emotions don't really process the same for him. Like he was sad. Yeah. My daughter devastated. Like just. Because her mom had cancer, so she knew the battle, and just I don't know, it it hit her really hard. So I'm really sorry to hear that it hit her hard, but hopefully she's doing better these days. Okay. Absolutely. 
there is one final thing I'd like to say about uh, Technoblade before I ever heard of him. Well, no, before I ever watched him, when I heard of him, the way people were hyping him up, he was in this category of Dream SMP YouTubers, okay? Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, it's probably, no offense to these YouTubers, but it, you know, most of those YouTubers, I'm kind of like, eh, but I don't really like them that much. So I thought he was like one of them, but no, he stood out so much. He stood out so much to me. If he was still around, he would probably, no offense, no offense, but he would probably rank above you. No offense. No, okay. none taken at all. Like, <laughs> my yeah. sub goal was 500. That was all I ever intended for. I, I Like, being this big, I yeah. never intended this. So, absolutely. Also, and, uh, can I talk goes, about my, sorry. Oh, hold, hold on. That goes for any of my fans out there right now. Okay, if, you're, if you have some other YouTuber that you like more than me, don't be embarrassed to be like, I like him better. I'm okay with that. And, and at no time would I ever judge you for that. Oh, God. I don't want anybody to ever feel like that. Ever. <laughs> especially, yeah. especially in a situation like that. I would never want to take, take glory from Technoblade. No. No. Wouldn't do it. All right, well, that's very nice of you. That's very nice of you. Now, um, could I say, like, a few things about my channel throughout this video? 100%. It's your collaboration. Right. I'm collabing right. with All you. Right. So, the thing about that is, first off, I, okay, why not, why did, why did you make it a thousand? Why wasn't your original goal a thousand? Because that's like the four digits. That's what I'm wondering. Um, like, what made you want to make it 500 instead? Do you, do you know what my first video was? I know uh, you don't. No, I don't it's remember. rhetorical. Okay, so if anybody ever goes and looks, and there's a ton of comments like, oh, it's the first, it's the start, this is the channel. It was a Second Life content where I had programmed a uh, remote control car. And that was it. And I was just trying oh, to showcase Oh, I remember that. I remember it. that now. Yeah. That's it. That was the start of the channel way back then. There was no intent to become like a big YouTuber or do anything. It wasn't... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a hobby. It's fun. It, like all of a sudden I blew up and there was this wave that happened. And now I'm hearing like, I influenced you. I influenced brick. I influenced all these people. My username's this, me and him started together. And like, Oh my gosh, just the other day he had a birthday and I'm like, dude, I'm amazing. And he's like liking my comments. That guy has like what? 3 million subscribers now. Holy cow. It's a, it is a weird place to be, and I love it. So, I don't know. Wait, who are you saying has three million? I'm sorry. Uh, my username's this. It might just be a million. Oh, I thought I thought you were talking about your username. That confused me. No, yeah. you're saying that's an actual YouTuber's name. Yeah, my username's <laughs> this. Do you not know Bacon Hair? Bacon Hair <laughs> Army? Oh my gosh, dude. There's like an entire genre of uh, YouTubers that like, I don't know, like Lumber kind of cross-referenced into all these other big YouTuber names, and a oh. lot of them started here. I don't know. Quite Just interesting. Saying. Okay. Now, the thing about me mm -hmm. is that I always wanted to reach 1,000 subscribers because it is the four digits, mm -hmm. and it is the spot where I can start making cash off the video. Well, I don't like fully i'm not doing it just for cash if i was do, doing it just for cash i would be gone by now i'd be demotivated but <laughs> if if i were I, like I want... if it were paying constant absolutely I'd, I'd leave it for the cash are you kidding me <laughs> i get to record videos all day long playing video games that's, and that's what that's i get to what do I mean. for my life i'll do that <laughs> no that that's not, not what i mean no yeah. of course leave for the cash but i'm saying like i'm not doing it just for cash yeah i'm not um let me give you all perms here real quick yeah. Um, I'm not, um, I'm not doing YouTube just for cash, but if, yeah, if I did make cash, oh, sure, of course. Absolutely. Of course I make you know? <laughs> videos all day. <clears throat> but when I reached 1000, mm -hmm. it felt very special to me. Absolutely. And now I don't like fully care how many subscribers I get. Of course I want more. Absolutely. But I already reached a thousand. That's like my old time goal. And, you know, I also blew up to an extent as well, but at a much smaller scale compared to you. It, now, yeah, it's 
it's a Continue. weird blow up too. Um, question: When your first blow up happened, and this is talking analytics and just me getting yes. personal, um, did it go straight up and then after like six months, kind of do this? Like it, it was a huge burst and then trickles, because that's the pattern I've seen, not just from mine, but like from other YouTubers I've talked to. Well, uh, the the original. Uh boost in 2022 that was kind of like gradual and and then it was like a slower gradual hill mm -hmm. and then there was the big i call it I'll, I'll coin a term right here right now i'll call it the big subscriber boom yeah. of mid 2024 i went from 1.9k to 3.4k well actually i'll say this for more impressive stats to 3k within a month's time and then you know, and then I went up to three point four k, and then it's kind of flatlined. I don't care. My entire goal, like, I I hit a thousand in January of two thousand twenty three. So then I wanted to get to two thousand by January of uh, two thousand twenty four. Mm -hmm. um, I was at one point nine k in May of two thousand twenty four, so I wasn't meeting the quota. But then now that I'm like three point four k, and I I'd hope to get to three k by January two thousand twenty five. I already beat that, so that's pretty good. I'm already ahead schedule. You know, I want at least 1K a year. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing very good right now. Well, at least from the big boom of mid-2024. Now, there is something I do want to say about you being one of my favorite YouTubers, okay? I have to say it's a, it's a very rare thing because it's very difficult for me to look up to people. I'm not trying to say that to be ignorant. I'm not trying to say it to sound ignorant. But, like, I'm very specific when it comes to looking up to people mm -hmm. i'm more of a guy that kind of likes his own style but there are definitely people that i look up to now if i were to make this for multiple youtubers there's another youtuber um you know what i won't even mention him because he's not in the lt2 community he's not really that well known mm -hmm. and plus he does talk a little inappropriately so i'll keep him out um but for those of, but some people watching this video might know who he is if you know me uh, well enough but uh then of course so then i guess i put him over here and then you would be uh one of the other three people I, you're me yes you yeah nice like like, like would one you of make, the top three people what well, would you would you do like the avatar or like the logo i don't know i'd have to figure out a way to do a statue but yeah i'd eventually get to it yeah that's awesome but i don't know i might just keep this 100 no i probably will put i probably will put the top three youtubers in here actually so yeah, I'll I'll put you in here eventually when I get motivation. But the thing about you is that when I first started watching you, you have the style of having a calm voice. This is the third time you're hearing it. You're, you have uh, the style of having a calm voice. Yeah. You um, your your tone is just very gentle, and the sound of your keyboard and just the way you talk and do things just sounds very inspiring. You know, doesn't matter how long I do YouTube, I will never see the same type of just click for myself like i ne like i don't get the same vibe if i ever like watch back my own videos um now for my own content it is heavily inspired based off of you okay the talking videos slash life lesson videos i got that inspiration from you you would like tell life lessons or you talk about stuff so i did it as well mm -hmm. but i wanted to do my own exact spin i do remember you one time i have really good memory Ooh, now, here's gosh. the other thing about me. I have really good memory. I hope it's all so, good. <laughs> I hope well, it's yeah, all good yeah. memories. Good memories. Yeah, they're good memories. They're good memories. But there's one thing you randomly said. You're like, oh, I want, like, you're, you, like, said a fan said one time, oh, I want to be, like, Code Primate. And then you were, like, saying in response to you, like, talking in a fan's voice or whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Uh, don't be like me. Put yeah. your own style to it. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. I, I was, like, thinking, I already do that. I already put my own style to Absolutely. it. I mean. I would I would hate myself if I was a hundred percent like you because I can't be a hundred percent like you. I need to be myself. No, but I could take a lot of inspiration from you. I, I wasn't. Would hate I wasn't. If I was a hundred percent like Technoblade. I wasn't <laughs> reprimanding him like, don't take my style. I was being like, dude, it's cool that you like look up to me for that thing. Yeah. But like, <laughs> do your own thing. Don't don't just do it because yeah. I was copied. Like, uh, it was a yeah, technique that I figured style. out. You know, it's it really is. It, it's a very I don't know. Just be open yeah, get, and honest. How hard can that be? Have, <laughs> I'm sorry for cutting you off so much. So, oh, you're good. I you have ADHD have your, you too. Have your, oh, yeah, yeah, we both do. You you got to have your own style or you won't live the best life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
I would hate if I was exactly like anybody. I can't be a copycat. No one can be a copycat. You can't be a copycat. Don't be a copycat. Yeah, and you no can't one. be 38. So, <laughs> do you remember that? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Yeah. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, 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 Jenga! Jenga! Jenga. Okay. <clears throat> Dang it. All right. <laughs> Jenga, my wood. <laughs> Getting so distracted. But I understand that. I understand that. All right. Um, now, I, I, there is something else I do want to talk, but I, I want to evilly. Oh, the truck is still in the way. Hold on. We have to walk up the normal way. Come over here. Oh, I got it. I can do I it. I have to get rid of that. I have to get rid of that bridge in the corner, okay? Because it is built in. I have my own method of building a door bridge. It's called the easiest way to build a door bridge. Okay. But I have to admit, I think I like the classic method, your method, uh, the method that everybody knows better, the one that I did the blue wood area door bridge, color coded door bridge in, okay. which I will show later this video. Mm. Uh, but I kind of put that there because I was like, you know what? I want to build a door bridge potentially to the blue wood area on every base. No, I'm not doing that. I can only do it for one base. So I got to get rid of that. I got to get that out there. I don't know. I was I was thinking too ambitiously. So this this was supposed to be the YouTuber level. So I guess you were supposed to be on here, but I guess I'll put you down there. I don't know what I'm doing for this, but I have pink vehicles here. They're sitting here. Look at all the wires. Wow, that's a lot of wires in the corner. So I've, yeah, there's not much else to this base. I, I've um, got a pink car top. generator. If you need to fill this up, just let me know. Well, thank you. I appreciate the offer, <laughs> but I would rather fill it up naturally. All right? I'd like to see it progressively fill up. Okay. Gotcha. I appreciate the offer. And then we got this ice level, which I'll probably make like ice wood themed. Oh, the thing about ice wood. Uh -huh. The reason why I get frost wood is also because of you. Cause I saw you grind at one time and that inspired me to grind it. And that's how I, that's why I grinded ice wood so much. That's oh, actually yeah. crazy. And it, it's, it's and it, so good. Like if you're looking for money fast, go get ice wood as much of it as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, wee. Skills. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So this next base, this one is quite interesting. Okay. Hold on. This before, next base, before we forget, if you haven't done so right now, go hit the like, comment, subscribe button down there on his, on mine. Make sure you do the crisscross. Links are in the description. All right, go. Got to do the oh, call. Oh, Primate, huh? that's not the way you're supposed to say it. You're supposed to say it like this. You need to hit that like button. You need to punch it on both my channel and Co Primate's channel. Also, subscribe to Heath Askins, also known as Co Primate. He's got to get to 143K subscribers. I want to get to 143K subscribers. If he gets to 143K subscribers, that'll be a very glorious day. We can all have a big celebration. We'll be like, woo! Co Primate got to 143K. Everybody celebrate. Actually, let's get him to 100. 50k he's got to hit 150k we, you got to get him to that milestone okay that's a somewhat big milestone get him to that right now or else he will use his very very advanced trick tricky coding to hack into your personal life and rearrange your past jump, jump. he will he <laughs> has he is code primate he has the power to literally hack life he can literally rewrite history. If he wants a person to not exist, he could just type something on a keyboard. I don't mean it do, in a bad way. Do you I'm remember? Do you he rem can type something on a code. He could do IRL code. He could hack life and he can make God make someone not exist. Do you remember, do you remember Steven? Uh, you mentioned him before this collab. Yeah, no, you don't. He doesn't exist. So. <laughs> oh, that's right. He yeah. doesn't. I forgot about that. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I want to try the voice. Can I try it? What, my voice? Yeah. Sunday, 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 there'll be crashes, bashes, head and smashes. You'll buy the whole seat, but only the edge. Oh. Did I do it right? <laughs> that's that's not that's not my accent, but oh. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty good. It's a good I start. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll try. I'll I'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is this <clears throat> this next one's yours? Yes, this next one's mine. Over here! Oh my goodness, it's so Hey, code, cool. hey, code. Over here. Woo, I see you. Hello. <laughs> it's an inside joke, by the way. What? <laughs> it's an inside joke. Uh, for those specific people watching, you'll get what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the base I'm currently working on. I got a bunch of stuff moved up there. 
So this space is where I have all the signatures. Look at this. I even got Ooh. the rare. I got some really rare signatures over here. Come over here. Look, look, look at these rare signatures. Okay, let's see. Rantor zero subscriber signature. That is so rare. Dallas of the Bones 900 subscriber signature. That's so rare. You want to see another rare one? Dades 45 subscriber signature. Uh, Aldo zero subscriber signature. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Hayden Jacks four subscriber signature. Luminous Lemons 50 subscriber signature. Look how rare these are. If these YouTubers get millions of subscribers, then I could probably. I could probably sell this account for millions of United States bucks, but I probably, but I shouldn't because that's cross trading. eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I shouldn't say that. It's, that's not funny. No, you... <laughs> but anyways, you can't, yeah, I've... you can't do that, guys. You can't do you're like, yeah, I know it's out there. You can't do that. It's against terms of service. Don't sell your accounts. <laughs> JB's over here like selling my account, <laughs> ten billion dollars. No, no, I, I tell people not to. <laughs> uh, and also, um, actually, no, never mind, never mind. Okay, so you know what I don't this, see. What don't you? Your, I don't your see my signature. Exactly. Can do, you? Do you mind it right now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got a spot okay. for me. You could. Uh, you know what you should do? You should be the first one to put it up here, so it can stand out for a little bit. Oh goodness. Okay. Be quite get on the box here. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> careful. I'll careful. try to support you here with the wire. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll try to support you here with the wires. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. All right, here we go. No, that's not sticking. Okay. Uh, stay up there. Don't use thick wires, just the thin wires. Okay. I'm very strict on that. Uh, actually, I, I, I can't use neons. I'm gonna... Uh, okay. Neons are are too short. They're uh, just too short, and I can't get the uh, the Good. eye dotted on Prime. That's why I can't use the long. Uh, the, Good, because I like uh, thin wire signatures. Good, you're well, not getting the bad ideas in your head to do the thick wire. Good job. One thing I don't I like tell, is I have to tell Ace to redo it. Ace of Spades to redo his though. Goodness gracious, I don't like that thick wire signature. Okay. Okay. No. There we go. Maybe, and down like that, and ooh, maybe. <laughs> Wait, so you can do it all in one? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, what? Oh, that's crazy. You've okay, never, never mind. I guess I don't need this. I've never I'm, seen you sign. I've never watched the full process before. Okay. I need three wires total, but it's code oh. prime and eight. Each one uses a wire. Oh, I thought you just said. Oh, I thought you just said you need only one. Uh, no, okay. I I do each word all in one. Sorry. Okay. I'm okay. I misunderstood. All right. Underneath here. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> I don't like the new system. This this is uh, see that is too much of a gap. Go back. Go back. Okay. And down, down, down. Right there, maybe. Possibly. Stop. 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 Here. Got it. It's fine. Let me go back this. Let me go back this. Let me go back this. And we finish. Oh, ho, ho, ha, ha. Ooh, other side. Nope, not that side. Too high. Actually, yeah, too high. All right. My wing's going to be in the way. Turn. There we go. All right, I might as well um, explain this space a little bit. Yeah, keep going. That. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your random ADHD noises, but I want to get these words out, okay? Uh -huh. So... <clears throat> So for this uh, layer here, this bottom layer, um, it's like the GB Drag Mega Tower. It's a very similar concept, but it's shorter. And uh, for this, I have white, uh, baby blue, I guess you could call it, ice wood color, and then blue wood color, dark blue color um, wires for the ice wood theme, because I usually get ice wood slash frost wood, whatever. I'm planning to put uh, no items down here, but a bunch of stuff like a whole wood sword. I never built one of those before, mm -hmm. uh, believe it or not. So I'll eventually get to it when mm. get the motivation. Yeah, I just when, need to. Let me know when you come and do that. I'll I'll hop in and help you do the sorter. That'd be fun. No offense, but I would actually rather that be 100% me because the point of this base is for everything to really just be me doing it. I appreciate the offer. But Absolutely. That would destroy the, the thing, okay? The sentiments um, behind it. I understand. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, down here. Uh, what else about down here? Um, I'm planning to get all these items up to the second floor. And then, I don't know, I'm probably going to build some type of, like, town on the roof or something to where I can just store everything. I don't know. I'll do something. I'll do something that looks interesting. Uh, there is not going to be any more layers, okay? So, yeah, so down here will be where all the wood storage is because, uh, well, actually, I don't think it applies with this base because it's not too tall. But when you put a piece of wood, I'm sure you know this, when you put a piece of wood too high, Lumber Tiger 2 will not allow you to save that piece of wood it'll deplete it'll go away mm -hmm. for some but reason it's terrible my gold it's base terrible. the top layer is too high all the wood up there if you leave it oh of course that's gone. too high yeah i'd yeah. be shook if it wasn't too high yeah <clears throat> so but yeah just wood stuff down here uh like the wood sorter whatever whatever i build down here maybe even in a better like some like an auto sawmill i'll do whatever all the cool trinkets down here i'll eventually get everything built the industrial uh part here it's signatures on the walls okay and then the top just like item storing stuff now i do progress every single time i'm a video but only when i record a talking video okay mm -hmm. uh, sometimes i'll get frostwood for fun on this basis what i used to do a lot but this year i've been mostly focusing on moving items all right and i've done a uh, quite a bit of progress but there is something else i do want to briefly mention hmm? this year i did spend a bunch of time editing the crap out of all of my videos and i mean like the normal talking videos and stuff but as of today like before we collabed i i made the decision and i recorded a video basically i'm going to revert and i'm going to go back to an older style of editing content basically i'm just gonna put music in put a couple tiny edits don't even put that many pictures in the the videos i'm gonna have them classic style i will edit this collab i will edit all future collabs and i will edit special videos but that is it i'm returning back to an original style because i realized well i could get so many more videos put out and the jb drag motocross bus style kind of got butchered because of that i finally realized that and i'm tired of editing I don't like to edit just like you just like you well, I, mm -hmm. I have a slightly more of a tolerance to edit mm -hmm. but you know i think it comes with the adhd am i correct absolutely and one of the biggest things is like after i get done recording i'm so hyped up like i'm like oh let's go edit right now and then i get into it and i'm like three hours past bedtime editing like yeah. why did you stay up that late i don't know and here's the thing the critiquing it's good enough I promise it's good enough. <laughs> it's just a, just a pixel more, just a pixel on the on the edit right there, right there. You know what I'm talking about, right? Exactly. That yes. Absolute frustration of trying to get everything just right in the editing scenes and process. To the editors of all YouTubers out there, God bless you, 100%. Because I would never do that again. No offense. <laughs> Also, about hiring an editor, I don't think I want to do that because, like I said, I want to keep my content style. And mm -hmm. I don't want to rely on someone else editing because what if they don't get it out on time? So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, I'm reverting. I'm still going to keep the thumbnails really good, though. I've improved the thumbnails. Anyways, let's address this. Mm -hmm. Whenever mm -hmm. I'm talking, when, when somebody finishes something, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm too deep into a conversation, I will just finish the conversation. So don't worry, I did not forget about this. This is great. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So this is a style that's supposed to be like a sword, right? Mm, it's graffiti. Graffiti? Mm -hmm. So it's not supposed to look like a sword? No. It just was originally just me doing the like graffiti stuff. And I figured out oh. how to do it with the wire. People liked it, so I kept it like that. <laughs> That's, that's amazing. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. So up here, we have code, and then we got the big P that I want to say looks like a handle, then, then rhyme, so prime, mm -hmm. and then eight. Very interesting. Good Thank you for the signature. I appreciate it. I mm -hmm. appreciate it. Actually, you know what? Mm -hmm. You can decline this, though, because I understand the art of styles, but could you put a 143K next to it so I can have... No, 142K Four, next 42. to it so yeah. I can... So I can have a rare signature. Absolutely. Yes. 
Yes, I'm going to have the rarest signature of them all, of them all. When you hit 143K, everyone will be like, oh my goodness, you got it when he was at 142. It'll be so crazy. Mm. It'll be glorious. <laughs> don't, don't get too excited. I've hit 143 three times this year. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's gone back and forth, back and forth. But then I took a big break and it's gone down a little bit and we're all good with that. And I understand. So, but. That's okay. You, like you that's still <laughs> it's still a hundred and forty two thousand people oh that is a lot of people there's a lot of fans and here's the thing like the demographs have you seen like your demographs like mine it started demograph uh when you go into your analytics you can see oh, no, yeah, no, where everybody's yeah. subscribing from the, the stuff like that i found yeah. that the most interesting because uh, I actually have about the equivalent of fans overseas that I do in the U.S. Like just all the other countries. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Crazy. Uh, Anyhow, speaking sorry. of my fans, um, mm -hmm. what, 33% of them are from the United States? And then like a third of that, like about 10-ish something percent is from the Philippines. Where are all these people from the Philippines coming from? Apparently I have a lot of Philippines fans. It's interesting. <laughs> okay. There's your wires. Why don't know? Let me there we go. Oh yes, very nice. A nice one like that. I like that. Oh, that was such a foolish move. Uh, was a I was foolish trying. Move. I was trying. I was trying. It's just not working. Okay, you know what? Let's just open that one, and then I'll just jump back up here. Maybe. Oh, can I? Can I jump the wires? Oh, almost. I did a double jump. Didn't mean to do it. Right here. Right here. It's easy. Right here. It's easy. Climb over the names. Oh, all these people. All these people are getting shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> from their signatures being there. They're all getting excited, probably. You're welcome. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> what, a, what a wonderful time to have a signature. We even got traps on here, too. Traps, you should stand next to your signature. Look at that. Traps gave me this uh, truckload of mini box mini axes and boxed uh, gingerbread axes. Very nice of him. Very nice cool. of him. Oh, I love the gingerbread axes. They have 15 stud uh, chop distance. Like it's got the longest reach, yeah, and it is powerhouse against walnut. And then the shortest is the spearman axe. Yeah. Oh, there we go. One forty. You gotta. You don't forget the K. Oh, poop. I'll put the K on the bottom. Okay. Maybe. Uh, like put it right there. under the four, maybe. Yeah, I just there we go. And... <laughs> hmm. Why does that look off? It's off. Let's go back this direction. Oh, why don't we just do this? There we go. And then... Okay. We're looking too. Oh, are you going to put it on the other side? Maybe you should. Nah, actually... It's up to you. How about this? It's up to you. It's up to you. What on earth is that? K. Graffiti oh, K. Oh, it's bubble text. Bold oh my text goodness, K. that surprised me. That surprised <laughs> me. I didn't expect that. I was like, what 142, was 8K. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I threw it in the middle because I didn't have room for the eight. Like the eight's in the way, so I just threw it off to the side. No, that'd be 1.42 million subscribers. You'd have to mm. put an M. 
No, I gotcha. Yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, uh, take a Scre quick screenshot. Screenshot. The top. Oh. Let's get a screenshot. Okay. Very good. Hold on. And we'll see. If I just hit print screen, it actually throws it up. Look at that. Pretty powerful screenshot. Boom. Done. Okay. Yeah. All right, Onward! So a, a quick peek at the top and then we'll move on. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's self explanatory. Okay. Come on, traps. Let's go. Going way too slow. <laughs> oh my goodness. The fact that you just said his name, that's just going to make him real excited. Trust traps, me. traps, 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 trap, trap, <laughs> trap, 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 trap. That'll make him really excited. <laughs> I won't hear the end of it. He'll he'll be talking to me about it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Go say my name. <laughs> I that, mean, honestly, I'd I'd honestly be kind of like that too as well. <laughs> that, that is weird for, for me. Like that's I know that you guys like the fans and stuff like that, but like, ah, oh, that is so cool. I love that. I don't know. I I mean I I, I my, I'm not as large as you, but. I've gotten big enough to the point of where there's even people who get inspiration off of myself. So I actually know kind of how it feels too. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. <clears throat> I love All it. Right. I love my fans. That's what I'm wanting to say. I just want to tell you that. Love, love my fans. <laughs> it's good. Yes. I love my fans as well. <laughs> and of course, I love my favorite YouTubers as well. Can't forget them. Uh -oh. Make the good content. I, right. I was hiding. Hmm? I, I was hiding. Nothing. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> paying attention. I, I had the lid of my base. <laughs> All right. Uh, my base is right, right next to the land store. Take a look at that light tower. I think that looks pretty cool. Look at that. I think Traps built that one. Oh, dude. Do you see the cherry wood tree, like, falling? Yes, I do, yeah. Oh, no, there's a lot of trucks in the way. I didn't clear out the trucks from last time. People are putting their, their trucks all the time. Goodness gracious. Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I need to get these out of here. I don't think it loaded. There Why is all this? Let's still, I didn't even fully clean this up. This is a. Okay. Well, the, not everything's finished, though. But mm -hmm. it's mostly finished. There's stuff in the way. You know what? I actually should have cleaned this out before, but. It's You've what got it is. big boxes. It, yes, I do. Ooh, yes. You have unstable big boxes. <laughs> yes. I'm going to actually. Yeah, I'll just put that there. Very good. Um, so this is JB's gift shop. All right. Welcome to JB's gift shop. Why is it not called JB Drag's gift shop? Because that name's too disgusting, too long. <laughs> so it's called JB's gift shop. So we have many things here. Let's kick it off with the free bin. Free bin is so I don't sell any unboxed items. I don't sell any um, boxed items that Final Forms is its present. So they all get thrown in here. Why is the Golden Candy? Sometimes um, people will donate stuff here, so that could also be put in there. So I think someone donated a golden candy bag. So we have it started from first to like first release to most recently released. All the shelves here. Not all of the prices are done. Someone's helping me with the prices. Giga Bacon did a lot of these prices. I did some of these at the top. He did most of these prices. The current price is now okay. I did miss an item in order, so I'm actually going to put it in the back of the shop. Uh, also, I do not sell um, boxed end times axes. I do not want to risk getting reported <laughs> by a new player. Okay. Gotcha. But yeah, just take a look. I have a, you know, an amount of everything. So the way this works is that I put a certain amount of each item, just to, just to, why is this here? Just to hey, fill the tables enough. All right. Hi, buddy. Dad, I have a quick question. Moonfall. <laughs> I'll let him know you said hi. So professional. Door shut? Okay. That was my son. Not 
YouTube's not professional. You're doing a collab with me. Do you think I'm professional when I do my live streams? No. I'm, I am so sorry. They're, like I told everybody, I'm going to be doing collaboration. Don't come in. He just said, hey, Dad, can we watch uh, uh, Moonfall later? I'm like, absolutely, dude. We can, we can go watch Moonfall. You got to get out of here, though. I'm doing collab. <laughs> no, but regardless, interruptions are okay. This is not this is not a work thing. Mm. We're not making a presentation for politics or anything like that. It's fine. Okay. Absolutely. This is, it's yeah, not the news. Still. It's not the news. All right. These are in the way. I do need to get them on their proper shelf, but they're just sitting there for now. Okay. Um, the pineapple paintings. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put in the back, but they're just kind of sitting there dormant. These items need to go to a different mm. base. So just some of these random laying around items, they need to get taken care of. But most of this is already uh, situated. We got five floors of this too. So just look, everything's here. Um, some of them I don't have full stock of. The smaller items, obviously I can fit more on the shelf, but most of the time I can usually fit three rows of five on the top and then eight on the bottom, which is a total of 23. Nice. But you know, sometimes, and some things are bigger, so I gotta like put them differently, but it's just like the style I have. My intention is to make this space kind of small mm -hmm. that if an exploiter ever comes on, there won't be too many items to lose, but also mostly so that it doesn't lag that much and people can take items off of ease. Gotcha. Now, right here, this is a new addition to 2024. This is a shoot. There used to be, I'm not going to fully explain it, but there used to be a system where like, I had to like take apart part of the gift shop to put a truck in. This is a lot easier. You drive right in from the bottom to get the items from the first floor, you drive into there. But if you want to get it from the second floor, put the truck here and put the items down the chute. All right. I love that. That is so cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So then up here, we got the third floor. Randomly, you'll just see random paintings just for decor. Okay. Do we know if, like, has anybody checked to see if the Maniac still spawns underneath the uh, shop? Well, even if it did, there's too much water down there. Are you just asking about that in general? I think we could get to it. If we were to build a door bridge that goes <laughs> underneath ground. Hinge it. No, seriously. Hinge it down and have it go across. You might be able to get to the, the spot where it spawns and drops. That'd be very interesting. <laughs> hey, could you still buy it that way? I don't know. You'd have to get it up to the counter and put it onto the counter and talk to Corey. So there's still the, the fact that you have to get it back out of the ground. That, that means stock up season all year round. <gasps> ah. Maybe I should do that next year. <clears throat> what is this? Hold on. What is this? That's the spicy turkey. It That's, has a terrible retexture. Terrible, absolutely disgusting retexture. I hate it. It's the worst. Okay. Oh. Um, I, I didn't even know what it was. I was like, okay. Terrible, yeah. This one it is. Got a bunch of these items up here. We got the Peak of Lumber Tycoon 2, the Boreal Pumpkin. Everybody loves the Boreal Pumpkin. The Peak of Lumber Tycoon 2. Holy crap. The most amazing. Yes. More amazing than Spork? Yes. That's I don't I don't know. Item. Like spork was the thing, you know, back in my day. If you didn't have a spork, ugh. <laughs> no. Oriole pumpkin's the thing for me. I have an emotional attachment to it as well. <laughs> I just slam my face into the door. <laughs> there we go. These uh wait, wait, wait. Uh what was this? Is this a, a, a pen? Is this a bowling pen? Stone bowling pin. Oh my goodness. Stone, it was an embarrassment that year. It was an embarrassment that year. Why is there a, a boulder and then a stone bowling pin? What are the people thinking? What are they thinking? That's just that's just stretching it. But it's like, what? Yeah, it's like like a primitive version of the uh, bowling ball and pins that came but out. But the boulder so big! <laughs> All right. Hmm. I think it's a good representation of the boulders that come out of the uh, lava. I, nah, I don't even know if they're the same. They're not the same boulder. <laughs> no. no, most items I like, though. Most items I like. The stone bowling pins I just hated. And the white gifts of stone. You know what I want? I want a mini Val hauler. That's what I want. I want little mini Val hauler cars that we can purchase and put on, on our shelves. Those, that would be awesome. Little model Val haulers. That'd be interesting, yeah. I declare default to make them. <laughs> Yes. Also, we don't know. Come back here. Come back here. Okay, okay, have sorry, sorry, sorry. The roof, by the way, and that's this is the last item, most recent item. This egg. egg. 
is the most recent stock of season nine. Actually, you know what? I'll tell the whole story. I'll tell the whole story. Once upon a time, I was off my PC for a while. It had to, uh, so it had to get a better hard drive. Okay, blah blah blah. Um, the day I get back on my PC is March fifteenth of two thousand twenty-four. That is my eighteenth birthday. That is the day the it's first edition, of course, released. I call it first edition, of course. That's the day that that released. That's the day the egg released. So stock up season released on my birthday, and nice. there is stock up season on my birthday. I always wanted stock up season on my birthday. Then you got Boom. it. Boom. Nice. Boom. Happy birthday. It didn't, it didn't feel like normal st- uh, stock of season, though, because it, it's just an egg, but that's what it is. No, it's complaint. like, here's the thing. We got an egg. I was happy about that. Um, yeah. There was lots of people who were like, oh, no, the egg's not going to stay after the event's over, and we're freaking out, and we're like, no, it's, it's going to stay around. Why would why would he do that? Well, well, well yeah, the item will stay in the files, but no, no, right. no, but it won't. the thing won't be there. The, the tall, weird, demonic ostrich looking creature <laughs> the beast oh i gotta tell traps to unload Tra- uh, traps Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> i fell down Whee. i think it looks very colorful when the base reloads don't you agree mm-hmm. yes you just fall down it's like one of those prehistoric minecraft dropper maps okay but Lumber Tiger 2 edition and just a different style. I don't know. But. If if we get a lot of lag and I unload the gold base, oh my goodness. The the signature tower is the most coolest thing unloading. I love watching the signature tower unload. That that would be very cool to look at. <laughs> Alright, for some reason it LT2 did not let me take the I gotta re, I gotta try this again. It's Ooh. strange. To break. Did it break? No, it didn't break. No, it just didn't let me put it in that specific spot. It was weird. (laughs) He's just standing over there. Traps is just standing over there. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Oh, ignore this stuff here. I'm in the process of making... Among us. Um, a fluid area uh, color coded door bridge video, and in the video, I'm putting a tutorial on how to build a door bridge stuck gotcha. into there. So don't worry about try to forget the ladders, but yeah. Um, this was built by built by Artin. I don't know why I decided to build an Among Us. He was bored, so I let him do it. It looks great. Oh, and, Good job, Artin. Shout out to Artin. Yes, <laughs> very much. Also, um, JB, JB, JB. This here, we got JB 1K, 2K, 3K. That's what all three of them look like. That's all the designs. Now, you might think 3K and 1K look the same. Nope. 1K starts a little bit up J and B. 3K starts, the, the tip of 3K starts, like, right at, like, the line of J, as you can see there. 2K, uh, the K is lined up with the line of B. Can you see that? Can yes. you notice that? I absolutely see that. Yes. There's Details. a very specific design for all of them. All right, it looks like the door bridge is already down. Very good. I get to save some finger movement, okay? I don't have to waste my finger movement by pushing a button, so that's very good. All right. I get to save my finger bones for a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Finger bones. Uh, yes. That sounds like a song. Finger bones. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a song. Finger bones. <laughs> you need to make it Halloween themed, okay? That would be great. Ooh, Halloween song called Finger Bones. And I, yes. I promise I'm not that old that I'm farting on camera. It really is my chair just making farting noises. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you just made me make a fart noise out of my mouth. Just <laughs> All right. Uh... I, I actually blanked out when uh, we were going here. I got to explain this. Okay. So we got zombie wood for the grass, birch wood for the path, zombie wood. And then I chose end time slash phantom wood for inside the land store. Only time you'll see that. Uh, then we got zombie wood for the grass here. I'm sure you remember seeing this too on oh, yeah. that one stream. Uh, awesome. Birch wood for the path, zombie wood for the grass here. I chose blue spruce. Because I didn't want to do ice wood, I feel like it would be improper. It's a bit too light, but 
you know what? It is better than blue spruce, but I didn't want to deal with any type of sliding, so I chose no. blue spruce. Blue All spruce, right. I think, was an excellent choice for it. Thank you. Hold Thank on. you. I appreciate it. And then I know that palm might not be the best to match for sand, or it might. I didn't care. I just put palm for sand. I'm like, screw it. So we have a stop at palm. So we could get as much palm wood as we'd like. Well, not you, because you're not going to be constantly loaded in with me only when you visit me. But actually, no, never mind. You have your own. Never mind. So never mind. You get that. <laughs> never mind. I need, I I need to go well. on and extend my bridge so it goes all the way across to uh, the the end as well. Yeah, Because right now it only goes to Palm. And I was thinking you, you could actually flatten it out on one end. So like instead of just a bridge, we could do like a little platform off to the left hand side. Yeah, I don't know how to do platforms. So, <laughs> sorry, I keep hearing. Okay. All right. So then the last bit here, we got more palm and then zombie to end it off. All right. Now, I love that um, it's color coded. That is like the coolest thing ever. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, just, I, I love that. Thank oh. you. This took many. This probably took like. I don't know how long it took, but it took many streams. Lots of people helped. I have to give the person who helped out the most. I gotta, I gotta say his name's Cade. He's on this merch here. Okay, there's this little thing about this merch here, for the three thousand sub merch. It's a Sky Party merch. Okay, mm. so <clears throat> basically, what my fans would want to happen is have little Sky Parties where they put a random platform in the middle of the sky in the middle of me building the Bluewood Area Door Bridge, and I'm like, don't do that. Only be on here to help. But <laughs> Cade helps the most, so I let him do as many sky parties as he wanted to. So then that turned into on the merch, all right? And That's then I awesome. might as well explain the back. Uh, Pog made that fan art piece, and then I have it spelled out 3,000. But yeah, Cade helped out Ooh. the most, okay? So Ooh. shout out to him. Whoa. Whoops. Okay. So Good. when you drive across this door bridge, it only takes you a minute and 15 seconds. Just a minute and 15 seconds. Versus so instead of having to two get... Two minutes and... 13 seconds is two minutes and 13 seconds for hoover three minutes average yeah and you have to get like a bunch of like six six trucks at a time i usually get and then you have to you have to deal with putting them uh you, you get what i mean you have oh, to yeah. deal with like getting them on here when you're trying to stock up a lot in the fine art shop all right you should try so, like try actually, this one time um what you'll do is you're going to assign there's six bases total so you can have six people in a server that can do this Right, you're gonna have two stick at the main base, right? And yeah. they're just going to take and process blue wood. They're taking empty trucks, putting them on Hoover's uh, car, and that's it. They're just putting the empty trucks on, taking the full trucks off, right? And then on yeah. this side, you've got two people, uh, either two or three people. Um, one is putting the trucks on and off the boats, and then the other one's running the maze, and then you have two people chopping wood down below. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I bet you it's a whole assembly line. If you want to get a lot of blue wood real fast. But yeah. It's very cool. It's a good thing I don't have to do that because I put in a lot of time and work to build this. <laughs> no, I actually, I've, I still technically could. You could I just could run somebody it. over. Um, have have uh, How used to the maze are you? Can you traverse not it pretty really fast? That, not, not really that used to it, no. Oh, I love the maze. Do you want to go do some blue wood? I do We're want to show you another hour. base I forgot to, yeah, yeah. to no, tell no, you base, about. Base. Yeah. I forgot to tell you about this, so I do apologize about that. But um, I don't know what condition it is in now. It's not the most it has been. It has definitely had more of. But there's one more part about me that I would like to talk about. I have to mention the grand finale part, okay? Huh? There is something that I do, okay? Well, just... Let's sit at the table, okay? We need to have a, a deep talk, all right? These tables, Seriously, I used okay. to, like, have these for introductions for, like, really old videos. I don't really do them for introductions anymore. Well, actually, sometimes, but anyways. So, <clears throat> a big thing about me. I, I, I consider, you know what? I don't care if I sound unhumble. I'm just going to say, I got to say, it. I am the king of stocking up. You're the king of lumber tagging, too. I'm the king of stocking up. I stock up more, and legitimately, more than anybody else does in all of Lumber Tycoon 2. Sometimes people come close, but I usually generally end up stocking up more. And sometimes there might be a year where someone stocks up a little bit more than me, 
but they don't stay consistently like that. I always stock up the mo- usually I always stock up more than other people. In October, in the week in November and in December, all I do is I constantly stock up over and over again. I probably fill about like three or four bases. I fill them up to like no more than that actually. I'd say like maybe like ten or something for the entire all the stock of seasons combined. I fill them all up to ten data size. All right, that's like that's probably how much I could fill up this year. I don't know if I don't think I could fill up more because that's just too many. But I just constantly go and stock up. I don't care. I go and stock up over and over and over again. I have the money to fund it because I made a lot from JB's gift shop. There's people who overpay, so good for them. But yeah, I just stock up over and over again. So this next base I want to show you here is a base of where I got a bunch of Boreal Pumpkins. Now, there used to be a lot more on there, but there is still a good amount on there. And actually... Anybody but me would pretty much consider that a lot. I'm going to tell you the truth here, okay? The whole video is going to consider it. The whole whole audience is going to consider it a lot. My ADHD allows me to, causes me to do things over ambitiously. I'm sure you know that about ADHD. Absolutely. One of the things that it affected me in is overstocking up. I get joy out of getting a limited item. And knowing that it's limited and knowing I could get off the shelf... You know, I used to, back in the day, just listen to, like, Christmas music and Halloween music when I stocked up. It was a lot of fun, too. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, I mostly just live stream and stock up. I, I still should off-camera stock up because it is fun sometimes to do talking videos and stock up. But that's a thing about my ADHD is that, yeah, that's that's what I will do. That is, like, one of the things that I will do a lot. Stock up constantly i know there's no point but i get enjoyment out of it and in fact when i stream i get lots of subscribers off of it too as long as i'm putting it onto my youtube channel i feel accomplished enough and so many people are like why do you stock up that much it's too much okay so you see this entire corner here though this entire corner where i'm standing over here hold on i gotta get past the the mountains (laughs) okay (laughs) yes entire corner over here this used to all be filled up so that's actually a lot that was taken out but this entire corner also used to be filled up so you just imagine with all this filled up so how'd you get rid of it well i just did a lot of moving now nowadays i don't stock up on my main base because i want my main base slots to be for um just like well other stuff i showed you but this base will probably eventually get all the items escorted off and onto an alt. Nowadays, I use alts to stock up. I I learned that the lesson the hard way. I'm like, no, I should just directly stock up on alts because there's no point in stocking up on a main account because I just got to move everything. It takes so much time. Mm-hmm. So this is the last base on my main account that has a lot of items. It's still a lot. So it will take a lot of moving as well. I do a lot of moving items on live streams. <clears throat> But there is a thing I would like to point out. I was talking about this, the ADHD part. I see us as extraordinarily similar to one another, all right, with the ADHD. It's not just the glasses? No, no it's not just the glasses. <laughs> it's not just the glasses. <laughs> now, of course, we're not the same person. There's, like, differences about me mm-hmm. and you. But I will say, I will say this about myself. If I get too excited, right? If I like, well, actually, no, I, I, I started that off wrong. My bad. <clears throat> the thing about me is that I can't do too many things at one time. When I'm into something, when I'm in the Minecraft, I was in the Minecraft a lot in August. Mm-hmm. I was into the door bridge a lot in June, the blue, the color coded door bridge. I was into the Han first edition, of course, in March. All right. I would, so when I get into something, I get motivated, addicted, and I can only really stick to that one thing. I can never really juggle. When I eat food, like uh, I, I, when I go to I go to Wendy's quite often, I'll order some food. Okay, I mm-hmm. get I, I usually get um, like I, I usually get the biggie bag option. What I'll do is I'll eat. Why did I just shout out Wendy's? Goodness gracious! What I'll do. Is I'll eat right? the, <laughs> the chicken nuggets first, then I'll eat the fries, and then I'll eat the sandwich. Mm-hmm. That's what will happen, or just like for all type, like all food, like you, that's how I eat my food. You I have to focus eat on one, 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 one at a time. 
Uh, can, yeah. you, can your food touch on plates? What do you mean touch on plates? Like on, touch each on, other? Yeah, on your plate. Can your food touch? Yeah, I don't care. Kind of bugs me. <laughs> it, yeah, it technically does bug me a tiny bit, but I just don't think about it that much, and I just eat it. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I have to, but I mean, like, literally, that will bug me. And my son, because he's got the sensory disorder, it's exacerbated. Like, it's huge on him. Like, his food cannot touch. It's not just an annoyance. It's it's a literal stopping right. him from eating. So. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, that's it's unfortunate that he's uh, dealing with that, but I hope that he can deal with that the best way he can moving forward. Yeah, there's no dealing with it. That's just him. He eats that like that. And it's normal. It's 100% yeah. normal. It's him. So. Yes. Um, if there's anybody out there that has slight disorders just like this, ADHD is one of those that has um, very huge overlaps. Like it, it will overlap multiple areas because it's not considered on the spectrum, but there's so many similarities to autism and to um, OCD that I would, I would debate it. I would debate that ADHD is part of the spectrum. And there are probably some experts oh. that would do that. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Just because of the emotional Another... detachments. I'm oh, sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> I interrupt you a lot. Uh, I noticed that you're very talkative, very outgoing. I am as well. I think that comes with a lot of ADHD people. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have a question. Sure. Does the good memory come with having ADHD or is that separate? Or is that a form of ADHD? Uh, it's a form of ADHD. And um, yeah. the other thing that will make your memory better is you have three-dimensional memory. So, you, like... You'll remember that the tweezers are in the box at the bottom of the closet underneath the th three socks um, that you left there from Tuesday. Like that. Oh, yeah, that's easy to remember. That's easy to remember. Yeah, it's easy. That's called object permanence, and it will be stuck in your memory. You don't know where it's at until somebody triggers that and says, hey, where are those tweezers? And then all of a sudden, this weird thing happens where you're not just recalling the memory of where it's at. You literally ran there in your head and knew how to get to it. It's weird. It's a different memory. Actually, you know what? I might not have that. I don't know if I do have that, but I just have good memory in general. Like, I will, I will be able to remember, like, a lot of dates. In fact, actually, I started consciously paying attention, like, to stuff in fine detail. And, well, I was younger, so my brain was less advanced. Mm -hmm. But I really got advanced enough. I, I think... Um, 2020 was still kind of a blur uh 2021 if you say hey jb what did you generally do each month since 2021 what was the theme of each month of what you did i'll be able to recall it i'll be able to tell a mini story about every single month i can't do that <laughs> like uh <laughs> my my memory becomes um uh marked like like i have markers uh high school was a marker so if something happened during the time frame of high school, I would say, oh, during high school um, or during Marine Corps or uh, during event, right? Yeah. But to go back, like, what did I do last week? I'd sit there and have to really think about it before I could pull it up. Just because my mind's like, all over the place. Sometimes, anyway. I, have, sometimes I have short-term memory loss as well. Mm -hmm. Like I, I've, I, I sometimes I have a tiny bit of difficulty remembering short term memory, but like I'm really good with long term. You know what? That concept kind of makes no sense because if you can't remember short term, short term turns to long term. How can you remember long term? That's a question I always ask myself. Like, how, if you can remember long term, then how can you not remember short term? You know what I mean? Right. It's just like a well, weird, freaky thing. Okay, real quick. I used to do hypnosis videos, and I still have them on my channel. They are age restricted. Just oh. saying. I'm uh, I'm very renowned for like knowing how to program the brain of a like in a hypnotic way. I don't want to get into the psychology part of about it. Like I'm a stage hypnotist. I understand the basics of how to get into the mind and make it do things. But it's not control. It's it's really not. It's just understanding what you yourself have been programmed with. For example, like now, that thought, because. Parents, authoritarians will say now to you all the time. So that's that's what I'm what I'm trying to get is um oh, 
the way that your memory works is very inherent to how your parents brought you up. Like, let's go to bed now. Let's do this. And that's a yeah. good job. The positive reinforcements versus negative reinforcements in your raising are all contributors to it. ADHD floats outside the realm of that influence. It's one of the reasons that it's really hard to hypnotize people with ADHD. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> because it's, it's Wait, are you not, it's not a programmed thing. It's your brain. Your ADHD is not something learned. It's not a disability. It's your yeah. brain and how it processes. So what I'm trying to say is, <sighs> yes, we do have ADHD and there's some oddities to it, but I don't want anybody to ever think that they're odd or weird or um, strange because of it. Absolutely. You are normal, just like us. No, I think it's actually very interesting. I like having ADHD. I think it's pretty cool. I do too. <laughs> Some people are like, do you suffer from ADHD? I'm like, no, I enjoy every second of it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Other people suffer from my ADHD. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, another thing about my ADHD, I can also it also allows me to be extraordinarily hyper and it allows me to be super hype in the live streams as well. You've seen my hype before. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's loud levels, okay? I'm not going to do them for your video. I'm, the reason why I haven't really been like that is because I'm like, oh, shoot. Yeah, a lot of that cuts off, so it's not really applicable. And plus, like, you're... you're oh, whoo, whoo. <laughs> I burped. <laughs> right into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't want to like a lot of cut out and then like, oh, this is a bad first impression. Why is this per person cutting out so much? Maybe. But anyways, also, were you suggesting um, earlier when you were talking like a minute ago that people with ADHD do are like, do, are you saying that their brains are harder more to likely hypnotize? to? Well, no, not, not just that, but like um, harder to go under the influence of their parents. Um, and to be more like separate. Yes, anti-authoritarian. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's yeah, that's absolutely one me. of the things that happens. I yeah, mean, that is that is me. I'm like really different from my parents. How big of a I'm troll are you? And I'm not talking like troll troll. I'm talking about you pull pranks on people all the time. Hardly, I don't really like pranking. Really? Oh man, that's like yeah. I like scaring my kids all the time. <laughs> No, I, I, I might do a tiny one once in a while, but that's not really for me. I don't know. Yeah. It's just not a part of it. Something I noticed about me and my son, just because we have ADHD, we like poking the bear. Like uh, being little trolls. Not not like in a mean, horrible way, but like... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, sometimes I'll do that if like... Yeah, you know, actually, I'll say this. If I'm with really close people, I'll do that a bunch. But not really too too much, but um, but like of most people, I will hardly do it at all. All right, but yeah, no, you know what? Yeah, I, I take it back. I I do do it more than I said. Maybe not as much as you, mm. but like I have the mindset of like, well, when I do troll, it's not really that bad, and it's not like too far. Cause like there's a lot of instances of where like I have friends, people people I know who troll a lot, and then I get really annoyed by it. So I just like tend to not do that. Because I don't want to be that. Like, I don't want to be far. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's kind of like uh, steered me away from that entire realm. But, yeah. <clears throat> that's a but, lot yeah. of pumpkins. <laughs> that's. I, w I wish that entire corner was here because you'd be more freaked out. <laughs> I'm just, I, I was like looking at the lag itself. I'm like, that's. Yeah. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, hold on. We cannot. We can. We, I got to get this in the video, too. Okay. Big uh, thing that went on. There's only one candy bar in the history of Lumber Tycoon 2 that has a second version that released two years in a row. The same candy bar released two years in a row. Do you know what that is? Okay. I don't know why. That's too laggy. I'm not going to open them. <laughs> Do you know what it is? What was it? The Jenny's candy bar. This is the candy bar that I happen to hype up the most. For some whatever reason, I hype it up a lot. And it, with this came out, the blue candy bag, as you saw, okay, uh, in the October of 2022. Mm -hmm. And then in October 2023, a version two of the Jennies came out. 
it is also it is the it is the second candy bar that there's a second version of it the other one is the the tnt candy the, the original TNT candy released in October of 2020. The um, the new the most recent TNT candy released from the golden candy bag in um, and by the way the original TNT candy came from the purple candy bag, 2020. Uh, in October of 2023, the TNT version two came from the golden candy bag. But the Jennies two year like back to back, and that is my all time favorite. It, I, it just shocked me so much. I, I really love that. I love it. <laughs> it's Jennies. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny is awesome. So, like, because she wakes up late and wears the cat shirt, I'm like, I think me and Jenny would probably hang out. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's I don't know funny. if I, I don't know if I'd hang out with Tom. Tom works too much. He never sleeps. Yeah. You Tom gonna... needs to get his eyes checked though, because one time you took the the uh, the blue candy bag to him and he called it a green candy bag he needs to get his eyes checked oh, really okay. remember that and uh, probably <laughs> i don't remember okay. what happened last week dude <laughs> did so, i record a video no. about it <laughs> no it happened years ago okay in october of 2022 right when the blue candy bag released in mid-october of 2022 <clears throat> What happened was Default 2 did like a file error or something like that. Basically, for a while, when you would buy blue candy bags, Tom would recognize it as a green candy bag. Then when you took it to your base, reloaded your base, the texture would, re would reload into a green candy bag. And then when you'd open that, it'd literally be a green candy bag. All right. That's so awesome. there was a big error of that. Um, it was up for like about 12 hours, I think, or something. Then Default 2 fixed it. And then he shut down all the servers with... Um, uh, that that in there, so then finally you could start buying blue candy bags. You could, you could start getting your Jenny's game on then, which was good. We finally got to get her Jenny's game on. But yeah, it was it's very interesting. But yeah, Tom needed to get his eyes checked. All right, pink uh, pink candies. Did you ever go for uh, a whole bunch of pinks? Not really. I did go for a bunch of golden candy bars last year, though. That's like really when I got a total of ten. And then funny story. Ace of Spades was opening a bunch for fun. And I said, Ace of Spades, hey, you're opening my candy bags. If there's a golden candy bar that comes out of that, it's mine. And he's opening a bunch, and then he's like, all right, I'm going to open one more. He opens one more. And that was my last golden candy bar of the year. I got 11 that year, That's last year. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm I'm ready this year. Like, I, I know last year I kind of I, – I did. I petered out. I'm just going to say it right now. I did not have good content last year, and I kind of missed out on a lot of events. But you need to stock up this year. You need to stock up. It's fun, and around where I live, One there's month. really cold, crisp air, so it mixes really well. The Halloween mm -hmm. theme, the ho I, Halloween's my favorite holiday. I love all the spookiness. I love the cold, crisp air in October around where I live, and then of course stock up season. I love it all. I also do an annual 24-hour live stream sometime in. October, not trying to necessarily advertise it, but I'm just saying in general. So, October, October. Streams. Oh, yep. October's my favorite month of the year. All right. No debate on that. My Absolutely. favorite month of the year. No one can change my mind. It's the best month. It's going to happen soon. It's going to happen soon. We only have September and it's going to be October. Do you see how excited Halloween. I get over this? Do you, do you, I'm, do you I'm excited too. I'm excited I get over this. Excited. And then December, I like almost as much as October. It's just the Christmas edition, so it's it's good, but not as good. I yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And we need. Here's the thing. I also need to go and pick out a costume this year because I don't yeah. want to go default this year. I'm going to go pick out a Code Primate Lumber Tycoon 2 Halloween costume that like matches and be scary. I remember when you did a one a live stream and you're the the witch doctor yeah i did the witch doctor i also did a bob ross <gasps> bob ross oh yeah you so did do a bob ross and then you did a video where you started it off with um <laughs> like with uh, doing like a, a like uh painting or something yeah, it was the joy of painting dun, 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 and you were in character you're in character too mm -hmm. wait okay I, I have a question yeah so i did not remember that bob ross thing at the t at the top of my head but you mentioned Bob Ross, and then it caused me to remember all that stuff. Is that mm -hmm. what you're talking about, the 3D memory stuff? Absolutely. So it's kind of like a deck of cards. That and you have in your head memories that are there constantly. And it's like you've got Ace-2 
but I have a three, you don't have it. And then there's four, five, six, seven, right? You can remember ace two, and it's not until I mention or trigger that three that you can get to four, five, six, seven. It's oh, kind of yeah. like, I don't know, it's selective memory. <laughs> it doesn't pop up until it's triggered somehow. That memory must have not been important enough to me. <laughs> it's still there in your brain, though. Here's the cool yeah, thing. Yeah, it exists, yeah. A lot of people say, oh, we humans only use 10% of our brain, right? That is an incorrect statement. We are using 100% of our brains constantly all the time. Here's the thing. You're not filtering it manually. The sound of my keyboard, the sound of the fan in the background, your own You have a fan breath. in the background. I didn't hear it. I don't hear it. You don't hear my, my computers? Oof. What about in your, your room? No. Do you have ambient noise that's happening right now? All uh, okay. I cannot hear it right now <laughs> when I have my headphones on. Okay. What but about the I things you're off, seeing? I could hear my PC. Sometimes there's like things that run in the background. I'm in a basement right now. Okay. I try. I tried to get upstairs. The way to, your socks feel. I tried. I, I tried to get back upstairs um, in, and put my PC into a room again because like I like opening the windows and just feeling the seasons. But my parents were like, "No, you gotta stay in the basement. You yell too loud." And I'm like, "Okay." The way your chair um, feels right now. The way your shirt feels on your skin. The way that you breathe and manually, you just became aware of it. That's what. Oh I'm yeah, talking I get about. what you're saying. You yeah. were constantly bombarded by inputs constantly and i'm saying everything around you all at once you're not filtering that yourself only about 10 yeah. percent of that you are aware of at any given time so your brain is amazing it adhd is, yeah. is like a weird extra boost to a processor mm -hmm. but you gotta give up some of the memory to get there <laughs> yeah that's that's basically what it is also, I apologize for branching off in the middle of that. <laughs> I know. I was, I was like, it was kind of a rhetorical question. Well. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was to get you aware of like all the stuff, yeah. all the sensory inputs that are happening yeah. to you all the time. And sometimes it's good to come into Roblox, play some lumber and relax. Yeah. <clears throat> So, uh, just, uh, just a final theme about the memory. Funny thing is, is that I'm so used to having good memory. Well, obviously this is, this is obvious. I, I'm not used to people like I'm not, I don't know what it's, what it feels like to not remember, but just trying to imagine that that just feels horrific to me. Mm -hmm. That's just like, how do people live that way? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Sometimes. It just feels so weird to me, you know, like people don't remember what they did in specific months. That's really weird to me. Hmm? When it, I can recall, like, every and single I month. I can. Like, if I sit down and think about it, I can get oh, back sure there. Oh, sure, you could, yeah. But it's just... Yeah, you could. Yeah. I don't have it on the fly like that. It's not not good. Not good recall. Wait, so if I have it on the fly, then does that mean that I have more than 10% that I'm consciously aware of now? Mm, again, the 10% was like a misnomer. It was a misstatement. Oh, um, okay. But, you know, you're, you're normal. You're just like everybody else except hyperprocessor. Yeah. yeah. Overthinking, too. That's another thing I got. Overthinking. Absolutely. You know one thing that you're going to have to really look out for? And I'll say this just because I know because I'd go through it. Uh, imposter syndrome. Feeling like you're not good enough. Feeling like, am I doing enough for my channel? Am I doing enough for my fans? Am I doing yeah. enough for my parents? Did I satisfy everyone? That's huge. Because that right there, the, the imposter syndrome, I've spoken to multiple people with ADHD. I think it's an ADHD thing, personally. Do you ever feel like that? A bunch of times, but uh, due to my community constantly praising me and stuff, I've been able to majorly decrease that by a large percentage. Mm -hmm. so. so yeah, the, the imposter syndrome is real, especially if you're on this side doing YouTube videos. Just roll with it and remember it's okay. Relax. Yeah. Um, we are an hour and twenty four minutes in. Did you want to outro, or you got more bases you want to show me? No, I don't. I don't. I don't have any more bases. That's that's it. That's. Oh, you want me to sign your base? Yes. 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 So. You got to load that up. Are you gonna Are you gonna post the whole like hour and a half? Absolutely. 
that's crazy wow <laughs> like <laughs> you got all these other people like the official brick uh president parsons or lumber king from years ago or or whoever else you collab with having mm -hmm. these shorter collabs then you get jb drag motocross boss on here mm -hmm. one hour and 30 minutes mm -hmm. You want to keep going? Well, five hour? No, I'm just kidding. I gotta get. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, gotta, I can't stay up that late. <laughs> you gotta watch the movie if you're son. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go watch uh, Moonfall, and it's Friday. Everybody go and pop some popcorn. And watch a movie tonight. Oh wait, it's gonna be <laughs> Saturday for you when I release. Oh, <gasps> we didn't even discuss that. I need to discuss with you when we're releasing. It's it's already Saturday for me. I gotcha. I missed Friday. Friday's gone now. Oh. oh what a shame. Still got a little bit. We should have taken a car. <laughs> you, do you have no, cars no, on you, the base? You know, you're, you're, you're a couple hours behind me. You, you, you're, you're living in Friday, so good for you. Mm -hmm. You don't need to flex. Holy crap. You can't be flexing on here. You're like, oh, uh, you're, I can't control that I'm not in Friday, and you're in Friday. I'm in Saturday. How dare you? That's so terrible of you. Why are you flexing to me that you're I'm, in friday i'm i love you. friday i'm totally bullying here that's that's what it was it was a bully and i'm sorry and i apologize <laughs> i'm too offended okay actually i will not get over the fact that uh I'm amazing whenever i collabed with her she was a full day ahead plus some hours i couldn't figure it out but the timelines work like that no no there, there's never a full day and plus some hours it's always like less than i know 24 but like her timeline starts way before our timeline does. So. Oh, I get what you're saying. Get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, New Zealand. I can say her country. She, but in, in, they're like New Zealand to uh, our uh, America is like a one day ahead difference. Well, I, I don't like to think of it as one day because that kind of throws me off. I like to think of it as, well, okay. Let me let me think here. I think that would. I think. 14 hours is what, uh, for you, 16. For me, 14. That's what it would be. Where at in here? Hold on. I haven't been here in a tablet. <sighs> is this the tower you want me to sign? Absolutely. Yes. The original okay. fam tower. Oh, this is like on the very okay. top shelf. I gotta, gotta look at these. Yeah. All these people. Uh, Why well, didn't you collect how many subs they had? Now they're not rare. You messed that up. You didn't collect how many subs they have. Did Monkey have 11 subs? <laughs> oh, no, but Monkey was here. There's there's proof of it right there. Monkey 11. Oh, I mean, what are you doing? You could get a lot of value off this base if you collected the rare numbers. <laughs> oh, there's a Lumber King. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll oh, oh sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, Wolf. How are you? Raps. Oh no, not again. These fans, these fans keep getting in my way. When I try to sign my signature for anybody's base, they get in my way and they cause this signature to be a traps just got in my way. How dare you traps? Everybody gets in my way all the time. I sign a base and then they walk in my way and I'll be like, stop, stop. Holy crap. The person does it. Pog, Pog's the biggest victim of that. He does that the most. How terrible. Okay. Let me sign this up. All right. Okay. So. Do you notice how I acted, like, right there? Like, try to remember how I just acted right there. Okay. Like, the way I just sounded. Did that remind you of how Technoblade acts? A little bit. I got it from him. And it's it's stuck with me. I'm telling you. Traps <laughs> is like, what in the world? <laughs> That's got to look so cool. <laughs> what? The signature? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, okay, so on my screen, we can see that I've done something, but on your screen and on Traps' screen, like, he can't see that I'm, I'm moving something. So when I jump up and disappear, he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All he sees is a floor. <laughs> there's, too many, there's too many people in my live streams. They're like, JB, how'd you clip through that wall? <laughs> this is the 10 million time you see me do that. What do you mean? How did I clip Ooh. through the wall? <laughs> Speaking of, and I, I don't know if I should shout him out. I'm totally gonna shout him out. You know Parsons, right, President Parsons? I, I checked out his YouTube channel, commented on it. Yeah. There is a glitch now. The a climbing glitch. 
it's not a wall glitch because you can't stand on a uh, on an axe. Like you can't stand on an object that you grab. The grabbing script won't let you. Oh yeah, that's right. But there's an axe. It's the candy cane axe that if you tilt it up on its side and place it just under your waist, it triggers your climbing animation and you go up the wall. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Yeah. Oh my god! I never matched with the original axe thing. So oh. what would just <laughs> you want? Oh my gosh! What, what are you? What are you going on about? This is awesome. That's amazing. We have wall climbing back. I'm. Oh, we lost it. He like fixed the whole wall climbing thingy. Oh wait, did you see? Thing? No, many, and look. many people. Oh, you're still many people. Still there. Oh come on, you got the way too. I'm sorry. You're to go all the way back here. Holy crap. Okay. Is it safe By the way, a lot of people think that I'm actually like mean mad when I'm like that. Yeah. Just letting everyone know I'm not mean mad when I act like that. I, if, when I'm actually mad, people actually get like really scared. Because if I'm actually mean and yell, people get like really scared. So I just don't do it. Or at least I try my best to like never do it. Like I can sound like really bad. And people get scared of me. I'm not joking you. So... Okay. Anyways, that's uh, three K's done. I, I don't have to get mad. I show disapproval, disapproval, and it works better. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that, that's the thing that I do. I, I I've been like majorly like um, stopping myself from acting like that, and I've been like ninety nine percent success rate. Yeah, I've been much more calm about a lot of things. Okay, sometimes I might get a slightly frustrated, but like I've majorly reduced how I react. I know it sounds terrible. I don't want anybody to to hear me like that okay it's very terrible very terrible experience okay bad side of jb drag middle cross plus terrible side <clears throat> all right well i think that's everything i think that's oh actually i do want to take a quick tour of your base if you don't mind i want to take a peek it does feel oh. quite interesting being on this base absolutely it's one thing to see it on all the right. videos it's a whole nother to like walk it yeah actually you know what Actually, you know what? You know what? Do I, another I, I video do remember, some other time? I do, I, do, I do remember you saying that from like uh, a while ago. You saying that's why I mentioned that. But you mm -hmm. know what? I'm actually not feeling that. I don't know why. Really? It just feels normal. I think I might have been to too many Lumber Tycoon 2 bases. I don't know. <sighs> maybe that's why. May, uh, maybe it's because you are a YouTuber, Lumber Tycooner yourself. Maybe that that's it? Uh, I don't, I know. don't know. It's just not there. It's disappeared. Maybe it's because it's oh, such I, a mess. Oh, I remember this room. The first time I saw this room, you were organizing your axes when you're going on about the the big music removal of uh, February 2022. It was a terrible time. Oh yeah, <laughs> they took the music out of here. Yeah. Um, they copy wrote the copy striked Defaultio on something. Oh yeah, his Cone uh, game, the game Cone. Have you ever played Cone? No, I heard I heard you speak of it before. Highly recommend. So, anyhow, yeah. Oh, were you still in there? Uh, I'm looking at the stock up season items. Okay, I always thought this like little like up thing was very cool too. This uh, uh this it's made out of cherry wood. Oh, Ken Ken joined the game. Good for him. Okay. Oh oh, uh, this is the fan gift tower. Yeah, fan gift tower. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Everything. A lot given. of people joined it. Fire axe presents because there's a lot of them duped. Oh yeah, Ooh. and it's one of my favorites. And I don't mind like if anybody like has duped axes and feels bad about giving those away to me, I don't mind. I love the fire axes. Don't dupe more. <laughs> if they're already duped, I'll take them. But don't dupe more and give them to me. Don't no, dupe more. No duping. Terrible. I love the fire axe, and the reason I love it is because a blabber would. What's up, dude? <laughs> He's just been like. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get a screenshot. And again. Stop moving. Stop moving. Hey, right there. There you go. No, that's a trap. I know. <laughs> Got it. Oh, no. I, I was just asking you myself, was that Ken Ken? That's why I said trap. Uh, I, I sometimes speak out loud. All right. Why did you put Squidward paintings on the railings? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, I actually had them all wired and hooked up. So they would be triggered at one time. 
bold and brash. It was a big troll that I was doing, and I felt bad afterwards, so I, I just put them out. <laughs> like, I, I lined them up so they'd be out of the way. You should have at least kept it up. <gasps> oh, well. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to get up this side, am I? Oh, no. And then we got this big random spookwood funnel. I like that. That's very cool. Yep. I've seen that in videos. Very good. And we got this is where the Palmwood door bridge is. And that's where, okay, this is where the Goldwood door bridge is. I, I'm going to drive on the top here, okay? Mm -hmm. I hope you weren't using that truck. I just responded. There's one on the top. I don't know where, oh, you're climbing up. You're coming up, okay. Yep. Wee. I just I I have never built a door bridge like this. I just want to preview it. I I gotta make this at some point. <clears throat> I this, do have a question. This was before oh, fat doors and short doors, so this is yeah, yeah, yeah. limited. Yeah. The funny thing is, is that I only started getting into lumber tagging two right when the fat doors and uh, half doors came in, early 2020, the beginning of this decade. Literally, that's when I started. Technically, I played late 2019 but i started cracking into it in 2020 and that's when i found out you and i remember, like the first videos i saw of you were like your like wood showcase videos you're like and, and i just love the 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 manner of how calm you were and then mm -hmm. you're just like like just cruising through with a calm attitude and just talking about the wood and that, that was just very nice mm -hmm. i like that a lot that's but, yeah my videos it's just enjoy yeah, yeah. Cruise and exactly. have fun. Why is yes. it okay? That's coming from this year. I sometimes hide lights underneath to light up the floors and stuff. Oh, okay. But anyhow, um, how many studs up is this? How many studs up is this? Can you answer that, please? Couldn't remember. I do remember. Ah. Do, you should write it down. Do, I do remember using a laser to. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what I'll have to do. Measure it and get the, the right height. Because if you do not get that right the first time, you will never have a, like a working door bridge for that. You've got to have it the, just the right size. Yeah. One stud, exactly. too much. So, anyhow. Oh, you ready to outro it? Yes. Um, there we go. Right there. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. JB Drag Motor Boss Cross Down can I, in the... Can I correct things. you? Can I Sorry, correct go, you? go, do it. JB Drag Motor Cross Boss. <laughs> down in the description down below. Do not forget to head over there. Subscribe, like, do all those cool things. Uh, you don't have to do it on mine, but I must make it a requirement. You have to go over there, okay? If you don't, uh, spiders in beds, um, is, isn't that still a thing? Spiders in beds in midnight, if we're not subscribing to JB? Yeah, yeah just say that. So. Code Primate! Code! Why would you say that? You know I can't subscribe to myself! Now I want to get spiders! How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? I can't subscribe to myself! Now I'm going to get spiders! <laughs> smash them <laughs> or burn the house okay. either way either way <laughs> oh no oh no 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 I, I, I fell down okay all right ready for the outro you want to do the outro or me i thought we just did it no no no. the the, the sound the oh, outro. Oh, oh, oh yeah oh yeah you gotta do the oh, outro yeah. that's like the the icing yeah. on the cake also place it in this game yeah you know this he did yeah but it's not documented i don't think it's documented but uh, yeah, it used to be in the game. So anyhow. Oh wait, right. you want to do it, right? Do you, I'll try. I'll do your try. best. Outro. I don't have the. I don't have a good deep voice, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh, true.